Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? So we continue today with some World Series clips between the Giants and the Royals and we're talking about throwing change-ups. We're looking at James Shields who had, um, in the game he pitched a few nights ago, had a really good change-up working, had really good everything working. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about change-ups just because I want you to really focus on the arm speed of the change-up and how he allows the grip to change the speed and not the arm speed. To change the speed and as a hitter that's what really we'll watch it here it's a great view right here I mean he accelerates and he's trying to he's still trying to throw through the catcher like he's throwing a fastball but it's the grip that allows the ball to lose velocity uh, which I think is really important a lot of young players they try to baby the changeup because they want to try to take so much off of the changeup you know if they throw let's say they throw 80 and they want to have their changeup be at um, 65 or something like that. They try to baby it in there to take the velocity off, or even 70. And maybe they just haven't learned how to take the speed off with a little bit of different pressure with your fingers and a little bit different grip. Um, and so they try to take the speed off with their arm speed instead of with the grip and the pressure. And so, yeah, the changeup slows down, but the arm speed slows down so much that the hitter can recognize that. And it's really easy to lay off. The whole point behind a changeup is that they, a hitter can't tell the difference in speed until it's too late because the body and the arm speed is exactly the same as, he, as it is on a fastball. So really just focus on, you know, I saw this with James Shields and he had the changeup really working um, and it's 84 miles an hour and his fastball was probably low 90. So it was say, you know, an eight, eight mile an hour difference and the arm speed is so good that that eight miles an hour difference is really hard to pick up. I mean, you can't see it until it's too late. So as a young pitcher, really focus on that. Focus on doing everything the same. It should look like a fastball. And then you just got to keep working on your grip and the way that you pressure the ball with your fingers. Keep trying different stuff until you get a feel for how do I take velocity off this pitch without slowing my arm down, without changing my arm speed um, and my arm angle. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. Keep giving it work and, um, you know, eventually – as you get continue to get older and continue to practice, you'll get a feel for it. And make sure that you're practicing, you know, even when you're doing your normal throwing and practice. I mean, use your change of grip and get a feel for it. You know, one of the I played with a, a kid, Wade LeBlanc, who ended up being one of my good friends out of the University of Alabama, was a high, I think a second round draft pick. Played he's played in the major leagues now for a while. We came up together with the Padres. Had one of the better change ups that I've I've ever played against or seen. Um and, you know, he was great at being, he just learned how to pressure the ball and how to use a grip, his grip to take the velocity off. And he's really, really hard to hit. Um, and he would pr just practice throwing it all the time. And that's how you get a feel for it. That's how you really learn how to manipulate the ball with, again, with your grip and with the way that you pressure it. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Comment in the section below if you do. Um, share the video with all your friends. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. And um, good luck with your changeup.